Hi, I'm Julieta Valls Noyes, the U.S. Ambassador to Croatia. I've been in your country for a while now, and every day I learn something new and wonderful about your country. So today, with this video, I want to tell you something beautiful about my country, and that is the collection of works of art by American artists that currently hangs in my residence. Thanks to the State Department's Art in Embassies program, we've been able to put this collection together. The name of the collection is E Pluribus Unum, out of many, one. And that is part of the national motto of the United States. And it indicates that out of many races, genders, religions, ethnicities, and backgrounds, we have one unified country. Similarly, this art exhibition contains works by artists who have wildly different backgrounds and very different styles, yet the works come together in one cohesive whole. Now I'd like to tell you a little bit more about each artist. Three of them, like me, are Cuban Americans. Humberto Calzada was born in Havana. In his piece, Jewel Box, you can see how strongly his work is influenced by his native city's architecture. Julio Larraces, the Bougainvillea trade, is typical of much of his work, which shows imaginative yet realistic images of Caribbean life. Victoria Montoro Zamorano's photos from the Rocking Chair series were taken at a home for unwed mothers. They show her special sensibility for people and places off the beaten track. Alice Beasley, an African-American artist from California, uses traditional quilting techniques to create portraits from fabric, including this one, a meditation on time. Art can also provide a personal window into history. Muriel Hasbun is the daughter of a Polish Jewish mother and a Palestinian Christian father and her Watched Over photo series explores her family's memories of surviving the Holocaust in hiding. Daru Jung Hyang Kim grew up in South Korea and emigrated to the United States in 1977. Her painting, Autumn Colors, explores the subtle fabric of natural patterns in repetition that is a hallmark of her work. In addition to his artwork, Sebastian Sprang is a well-known music critic. You can see the important role music plays in his work. His painting, Garden of Sand, was created on an iPad. Emmy Whitehorse's work, Crown Stems, draws on her natural surroundings. In accordance with her Navajo philosophy, she strives to create a balance of beauty, nature, and humanity. California artist John Wood uses layers of graphite, crayon, and oil pastel to create his work. He searches for a way to visualize rapture in each of his paintings, including this one, reflecting one's thoughts. My husband Nick and I feel so fortunate to live surrounded by these beautiful works of art. I've appreciated the opportunity to share them with you today, and I hope you enjoy them as much as we do. Vala Lieta!